luxury, hopefully, hearing that. <laughs> no, but I first just wanted to start with thanking Pam and Steve for this beautiful evening. <laughs> also, I want to thank Sally for the rehearsal dinner. It was beautiful, and also for um, your wonderful son. wonderful addition to our family, so thank you, Sally, for raising such a wonderful man. Um, I guess third, I want to thank God for this beautiful day. Because less than 24 hours, this place looked very different. And uh, I think he was looking out for us. So, um, anyway, I'm Jenna. I'm the maid of honor. And, yes, me, sorry, and I am so honored today to stand up, up next to my baby sister as she marries the man of her dream. Chelsea, you are so much more to me than just a sister. When you were first born, you were my real life baby doll. <laughs> as we grew older, you became my partner in crime. No one can prove that we did anything wrong now. <laughs> but through it all, you've always been my best friend. <sighs> okay. For those of you taking bets on me crying, go ahead and pay up. <laughs> no tears yet. As I was preparing for my speech, I really had a tough time thinking of what to say. So, in honor of your wedding day, I thought we could take a trip down memory lane and relive the love story of Chelsea and Dewey. In order to do that, we have to go way back to the years where there were two single Crawford girls out on the town every weekend. There were a lot of great memories made during that time, some of which I don't remember, and others I will never forget. Yes, those were the good old days. But after a while, Chelsea grew tired of partying with her cool older sister and was looking for something more in life. So, as a wise and older sister does, I gave her some advice. Hit it. You're welcome. 